Hello everyone. Right now this is the 2015 Audi Q7 Prestige S-Line. Get LED headlights, fog lights down below. This one's a Quattro. You also get your LEDs right there. And part, you get front parking sensors and you get a front parking camera. This one's a supercharged LED turn signal locators. Keyless entry on all four door handles. Here's what the sticker look like. LED tail lights. Got your Q7 badge, your Audi badge, and this one is a 3.0 T Quattro. Get a wood grain right here. You get storage with a cup holder, and right there is your trunk release. Get two person memory for the driver's seat, lock unlock. Get your mirror controls. You also get your mirror controls over here. Got your window controls. All four windows are on Mac. In typical and Audi fashion, you get your child child locks on the door right here where you can like lock them and it will illuminate and this will unlock if it wasn't illuminated get your s-line door sills and this one has the bose io system which sounds excellent get a driver power seat with four-way power lumbar beige perforated leather interior over here got your headlight controls they are automatic got your parking brake release you can push right here and then to release the brake just pull on this right here and that will, re that will release the brake you also get your hood release and over here get a power telescoping steering wheel got your cruise control your um, light controls your wiper controls over there you also get an air vent over here got your controls for your um, display right there you also get a heating steering wheel and over here get your navigation um, where you can you can press this button and it will bring up the navigation you can also raise and lower the volume from here and you also get voice commands here's what the gauges look like get your engine temperature your tachometer your display your speedometer and your fuel gauge over here you got your um audi mmi system which you can scroll through it from here and this is also not not a touch screen you actually have to control it from this um controller knob so if you want to go car you could you just um all right say if you're at info and you want to go to the car app icon you can just um move this to to the right scroll it to the right and then that'll take you to car and then to enter just press on the knob that takes you to car you get your vehicle settings where you can change the seats 
the exterior lighting, interior lighting, all of that. Then when you want to go back, you just press this back button right here. You also get your driver assistance right here, your speed warning, your parking aid, and your Audi side assist. You also get your AC where you can like customize the AC of the car. You could um, um, change the um, cabin settings for the rear climate. You also have our recirculation and your sink. And you can check um, your car settings, which is the tire pressure, your service, all of that. You can also look up the VIN number from there. Get telephone, it will ask you to pair a phone. Get info. Navigation, which brings you the map. get media which you can pair your um, Bluetooth um, your phone and you can pair with Bluetooth and you can play music from your phone using Bluetooth audio and also one thing that you can do with the system you can see there's like import function settings and source to go to one of these you could press like, say if you want to go to import, you could press this button. It'll take you to import. And if you want to go to source, you could press on source. That'll take you to source where you can see there's like the jukebox. Your, you can play music from the SD card. You get DVD, the AMI, your Bluetooth audio, all of that. And you can go to functions by pressing this button right here. And last but not least, you can see settings right here. You can press settings over there. And that will bring you your um, Bluetooth settings and all of that. You can also go to... Um, you can also go to navigation by pressing this button to make it more easier to go to instead of just going from one to another. You also get your seek, track, get radio, media, tone, car. You pretty much get the point. This system is very, very easy to use. I always liked um, MMI systems. They're very easy. Over here, you got your, um, you get some shortcut keys, got your parking sensor, um, control your, where you can reset the um, trip information for your display, get check, your um, brightness for the gauges, you can turn the screen off and turn it on from here. You also get your valet mode and one very, very nice feature that I like about these um, Audi's Q7s is when you press this button, it actually opens the um, glove box, which is damped and lined with felt. It's very nice. Over here you get two air vents. This is where you can insert the key to start the vehicle. Get hazards, your traction off. Get your CD changer. And you also get your Audi multi Multimedia. Where you can like... It's kind of hard to open, but if you open this, you, you could like have access to your like SD cards and memory cards, uh, cards, and all of that from, from right here. You also get your climate control. It's a dual zone automatic. automatic. Get auto, on, off, your fan speed. You can also um, raise the fan speed 
high and low by pressing this button and then changing changing it from there you get your different zones get heated and ventilated seats for both driver and passenger side as you can see get front defrost rear defrost ac recycling and all of that right here you get 12 volt power outlets for the driver and passenger side right here is the shifter right here is where you can start the vehicle and when you want to turn off the vehicle you just press this button and it will turn off the vehicle and like i said these are the controls for your infotainment screen right there and over here you get some storage and you get a small cup, cup holder right here you get two cup holders as you can see This can also slide to the side. And then you, you have a second sun visor, which is very nice. Get auto dimming review mirror. Get sunglasses container, your light controls, your center of controls, and your, um, yeah, your center of controls over here and your garage home link. Get rear sunshades for the rear passengers. You can also lock the car from the rear. Get storage, more storage right there. You can also fold the seat down by pulling on this. Over here, get an air vent, get some storage, and for this being a Q7 and how big it is, I, I have very good, very good, very good leg room. Two air vents right there. You get 12 volt power outlets for the rear passengers. You also get your rear climate controls and you also have um, heated seats for the rear passengers. Get two cup holders. And you get um, your light controls for the rear passengers and you can also um, open the sunroof and extend the shade to front and back by pressing on these buttons Get full power trunk Get storage storage right there get a 12 volt power outlet and you can also um bring up and bring down the third row seats which this one has gas cap takes gasoline Everything falls through on this side. You get a passenger power seat with four-way power lumbar, same controls as the driver's side. You get storage right here. You also get your owner's meal over there. Like I said, to open the glove box, just press this button. You also get another owner's manual right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.